Hello and welcome to the Year 8 into 9 Virtual Pathways Evening. Firstly, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Miss Thorne and I'm the Year 8 Team Leader. This means that I am the pastoral lead for your child at school. In the coming months, we are going to be supporting your child as they begin to make some really key decisions about the next stages of their education. I'm really excited to be able to launch the Year 8 into 9 Pathways for yourself and your child today. It's an exciting and important time. I hope that this video and the videos below will be informative and help you and your child make the best choices for them. Your child has already demonstrated an exceptional attitude for their first year and a half at high school. They've also demonstrated an incredible resilience through the past difficult couple of years. We know that choosing options can be a stressful time under normal circumstances, and this has been no normal start to high school for your child. We appreciate that your child is being asked to make really key decisions and might feel a little bit overwhelmed. I feel privileged to lead such an excellent year eight pastoral team who will be with you and your child every step of the way to make this process as easy and enjoyable for everybody involved. This should, after all, be a really exciting time to have interesting conversations with your child about their subjects, about school, and eventually shape their future. My aim with this video is to hopefully answer any questions you might have and put your mind at ease. Of course, myself and Miss Hagelstein, our assistant head of year, will be available to support you at any stage should you need it. Please do not hesitate to get in touch with the Year 8 office. Our contact details are available on the school website. So without further ado, let's get started on the options process. So far, your child will have had an assembly which explained the process and what will be happening over the next month or so. We run a three year GCSE for pupils at Clinician High. This is of great benefit as it offers your child more time with expert specialist subject teachers to help them achieve the best possible results they can. It is important to consider how their GCSE option choices can shape their future. The subjects they choose might affect what subject, course and qualifications they can do post 16. That is when they have finished year 11. However, if your child does remain at clinician high for sixth form, not opting for certain subjects will not close doors for your child. We do accept children at A-level, even if they have not necessarily taken the full subject course at GCSE. Their option choices can also impact any apprenticeships they wish to apply for, which universities and courses they can apply for, and finally, what job they can do when they finish education. We have a range of compulsory subjects which your child must take. These are English language and English literature, they will also do Welsh language. There is mathematics and mathematics numeracy. With science, your child will either do double or triple award. Double is where they will get two science GCSEs and with triple they will get three. Whether your child does double or triple award science will be decided at the end of year nine. We also have the Welsh back, which will be totally new to your child. Now with physical education, it is important to note that this is not the same as doing a GCSE in PE or BTEC sport. It will likely be called games on your child's timetable. And finally, we have RE, religious education. It is important that your child makes the right choice for themselves, and this guide will help them understand the best reasons for making those decisions. It is important they choose subjects that they enjoy, as they will be doing these for the next three years of their lives. At this point, I should say we will offer a transfer window in September. This means if your child begins a course and finds out it is not the right choice for them, we will be able to move them to a course they prefer. However, we cannot necessarily offer every possible subject during this transfer window. It will only be courses that are in the same option block as the subject they wish to drop, and those that are not full. It goes without saying that your child should pick subjects that they are good at and subjects that they will need for their preferred career. It is not wise to pick a course just because their friend is doing it. The likelihood is they will not be in a class with that friend. 
Additionally, they should not base it on the teacher they currently have for that subject. We are a large school and uh, cannot guarantee who will be teaching your child. Additionally, in most cases, the subject teacher will change each year they change up the school. And finally, all of our option choices are inclusive. None are specifically designed for certain genders, and so that should not impact which subject, subject they'd like to pick. We offer a variety of different subjects to your child, the majority of which are on your screen right now. Some of these your child will recognise, whereas some of these your child um, will not have done these before and they will be totally brand new. On this page, there are videos and presentations from our subject leaders that I highly recommend you and your child look at. These will offer an insight into the different subjects and help guide your child's decision. If you do have any questions about subjects, in the options booklet sent out to you, there is a page with all the contact details for each subject leader. They will be more than happy to assist you in offering you any further information. It is important to note, however, that if not enough pupils opt to do a subject, we cannot guarantee that it will run. There are three options pathways, A, B and C. The pathway your child has been put on is available to see in options online, which I will explain how to access in due course. Pupils in pathways A and B will choose four options, whereas pupils in pathway C will choose two. Despite choosing two options, those in pathway C will not leave Flanishan High School with any less qualifications than the other two pathways. The pathways are designed to ensure that pupils are able to succeed and excel in their subject choices. All of our subjects are offered in multiple pathways. However, if when you go to choose your options, the subject that you'd really like to do is not available to use, please make sure that you contact the specific subject leader and or myself and we will do our best to try and accommodate you. So how will your child pick their options? Today, your child will have had an email sent to their school email address with a link. If they cannot access their email, please tell them to come to the Year 8 office where we will be happy to help. They will simply click on the link and it will open their profile and that profile will look a bit like this. Here you will see some basic information such as their name, school photo and which pathway they are on. You can also see at the bottom the different subjects that are available. To make your choice, you simply click on the subject that you would like to do and you can see that it, is, uh, it will highlight in blue. It will also appear on the right hand side of their screen. Option choices and reservations appear in the order that they have been selected by default. However, the order they are put in tells us the priority of your options. We normally are very good at ensuring that the majority of pupils get to do all of their chosen op option subjects. However, unfortunately, sometimes this is not the case and your child might have to change one of their subjects. Therefore, we ask pupils to put them in a priority order where number one is their top choice, number two is their second, and so on and so forth. To change the order, you have to click on the subject you'd like to move, click the green box next to which position you'd like the subject to be in, be it one, two, three or four, and then you will see your new preference order appear. Finally, the most important step is you must press save. If you do not, any changes you have made will not be recognised by the computer system and we will not know your preference order. Here is a bit of a timeline for you. Your child has now had their assembly on the options process. Throughout this half term, subject leaders will be live streaming videos and assemblies to explain their subjects to your child. Today, our year eight into nine pathways website page has launched and your child will have had the options link sent to their email. I strongly advise that you and your child spend some time looking through this web page and identifying subjects that they'd like or have an interest in. On February the 15th, which is the Tuesday before half term, we will be hosting a virtual parents consultation evening. 
This is a good opportunity to speak to your child's teachers about the subjects that they are thinking of doing. Finally, the deadline for making choices is Friday the 18th of February. This is the last Friday before the half term holiday. It is important that your child does not rush to make these decisions. It is not a case of first come first served. After making their choices, your child will have interviews with the year eight pastoral team to ensure that they have made the best choices to enable them to succeed at whatever it is that they wish to do. It has been an absolute pleasure working with your child over the past year and a bit, and I'm really looking forward to helping them make all these important decisions. I hope that this video has been helpful. And as I said earlier, I advise that you spend some time watching the other videos on this page to help your child make the best decisions for themselves. Thank you very much. And any questions at all, please do not hesitate to get in touch with myself or Miss Hagelstein in the Year 8 office.